Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly May 3rd through May 9th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Devil, the Hermit, the Nine of Swords clarified by the Six of Cups and we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Capricorn or a Virgo. Well, right away the Sun is on the bottom of the deck and this is the happiest card in the deck. Um, some say that whenever you get the Sun card, it usually supersedes everything that's going on in the spread. But um, let's take a closer look anyway. So the Devil in this card is most likely you. This is your personal card, the Capricorn. I hope you know that. And you're either dealing with a Virgo who, who is trying to come back from the past or is coming back from the past, offering you something. Or this is uh, you who took some time off and did some soul searching, perhaps you needed to uh, contemplate about something, to think about something, think th something through. <laughs> um, but you are a bit stressed out um, about something or someone who is coming back from the past. Uh, Six of Cups is usually a card of a return of uh, someone you've already dealt with in the past. So it could be an ex-boss, could be somebody uh, you worked with before or could be a business partner if you run your own business. So there's some kind of an unsettled situation around this. But like I said, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck and uh, you will either be able to overcome whatever it is that's going on this week in regards to your job or your business or you're getting clarity eventually you're gonna get clear about what's what's this whole thing from the past is about and you'll be able to move on Capricorn if you're in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership this spread is for you we've got the six of cups the will of fortune we also have the hermit the three of pentacles and the four of wands you could be dealing with a Virgo so we do have two repeat cards, the Six of Cups and the Hermit. From uh, We had these cards in the work and business spread, right? It's possible that work and business sometimes come through as uh, love, love uh, spreads, because uh, cards can do whatever they want, right? Um, also, this doesn't have to be an established love relationship spread this could be an X spread because we do have the six of cups this is a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past right so let's talk about an established love relationship first the six of cups is often um, seen as a soulmate card so perhaps your current partner or your spouse is your soulmate Right? And uh, the two of you could be um, trying to get uh, a new cycle started. Perhaps the two of you had some sort of a fallout or took a pause, took a break from each other. And now they're coming back. They want to restart this relationship. They want to build um, this relationship together with you. Um, the Three of Pentacles is about building relationships or learning from somebody and we also have the four ones on the bottom of the deck this is a card this is one of the happier cards one of the stable cards when it comes to relationships some people call it the 11 11 card so um, if you are in a relationship with this person could be a Virgo doesn't have to be this seems like uh, you guys are ready to spin the wheel and you know move forward with this relationship if this is someone who is coming back from the past, the idea here is pretty much the same. Um, they could have uh, taken some time off to um, do some soul searching. They've realized a few things. 
they realized how much they miss you and now they're back and they want to rebuild this relationship from the ground up. Um, so take it as resonates, leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you. Capricorn, if you are on a quest for new love, this spread is for you. We've got the Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Chariot and the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Especially Cancer, we've got uh, two cards that uh, symbolize Cancer. Um, this is a really good spread actually. Um, the only um, problem I see here is the Two of Swords. You could be at the crossroads. Whether you want to um, move forward with this person or not. But uh, we have the Ace of Cups. It's one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. Especially when they're new love offers. And like I said, you could be dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or this is just the uh, card symbolizing your love interest. I'm talking about the Queen of Cups. Uh, male or female does really matter. You know, this is a very, this person could be emotional, often wears their heart in their sleeve. We have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This card is about celebration. It could be about this union, forming this new union. And you could be meeting this person on the road. Or this is just, um, and I'm talking about the Chariot card. This is just uh, the two of you are deciding to form this union and move forward together. So if you do have any doubts about this uh, new person, then uh, I think they're very sincere, they really love you, and uh, I see no negative cards here on the table, only the positive, loving, emotionally fulfilling and moving forward cards and forming a union. This is actually an amazing spread. Congratulations Capricorn. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Capricorn this week. Uh, keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, six months ago or a couple of years ago. We've got the Sun, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups and the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Yeah, somebody is uh, thinking about you uh, thinking about the good times the two of you had together, perhaps they have regrets about how things ended between the two of you, and uh, expect a return of this King of Swords uh, if this is applicable to you, if you've uh, ever dealt with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person is just very straightforward, very blunt, they take action, they don't wait around, could be impatient. Um, it could be the other way around that uh, you are coming back to them you've been thinking about them um, we do have the Sun and the Ten of Cups here Ten of Cups is one of the happier cards when it comes to um, emotionally fulfilling relationships and the Sun is the happiest card in the deck so the two of them combined this is just amazing right so if this person comes back around trying to um, get back into your good graces then cards suggest it could become something happy and emotionally fulfilling so it'll be up to you whether you want to uh, reconcile with this person or not but uh, this looks really really good let's see if anything will surprise you Capricorn this week we've got the tower clarified by the ten of pentacles we also have the ten of cups, the five of cups and the magician on the bottom of the deck. Um, so the first thought I had when I saw this spread was out of the blue here comes happiness and stability. We do have the tower card and the five of cups card on the table but I think the tower since it's clarified by the ten of pentacles the tower isn't something being just dis destroyed I think this is, uh, as I was saying in the beginning of the spread, uh, since it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, uh, out of the blue something happens and it will uh, either f form a relationship or just make something stable and abundant. So abundance is coming towards you out of the blue. 
and we also have the Ten of Cups on the table, right? And this is one of the happier cards when it comes to relationships. Actually, both Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles are about relationships. And one of them is very emotionally fulfilling, and the other one is very stable and abundant. So, uh, there you go. Uh, the Five of Cups is here as well. Perhaps uh, this could be somebody coming back from the past, and they've been regretting uh, how things went down between the two of you in the past and now they suddenly reappear and they've been manifesting this uh, with you for a while because we've got the magician card in the bottom of the deck this is someone who is actively doing something about it and here they come out of the blue and make this all happen for you and this will surprise you this week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.